Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Quarry. That was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the the hunter. Uh, yeah, there was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think she was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. Oh. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Oh, gosh. Apply pressure. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Nick. You're okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. What? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? I mean, that, that sounds a little crazy. I am not gonna lie. Frustrated. You're an idiot. Okay, we're not gonna... You know, there's no need to be calling people idiots. Let's ask why. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. Oh. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? That's what I said. I ain't no doctor. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Fuck. Uh, call out? And I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. No, we're not going to shoot because we don't know in case it is Jacob or Emma. It, it was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. We're not going to shoot, just in case. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Dude, what are you doing I'm out there? Why are you just... Hiding in the bushes, that's weird. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Is no one gonna question what's going on with his face? <laughs> you know? Yeah, questioning. What happened to you? Concerned, where's Emma? I mean, we kind of left Emma, so... What happened to you? So wait, 
What happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay, I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this, like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. Hunters, I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. There was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. <laughs> yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. Oh. What? Get. I mean, no offense, Jacob, but you're not exactly good with a gun. <clears throat> what? Fucking stop. We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> hmm? Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. <laughs> the wheelbarrow. Okay. Let's see what tonight brings. Alright, we're playing as Emma. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> okay. Um, where is our clothes? What? Why would we not get our clothes back? You know. First question, of course. And second of all, why do we think it's a good idea to go off exploring by ourselves? Um, you know, we should probably head back to camp. To the rest of them? Oh. You, Jacob? What the? Okay. That did not look like Jacob. Oh. Wait, the magician. Sneaky. Alright, the magician. The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you won't, you wouldn't want to miss it. That was a sneaky spot to put a card. 
Kind of glad we came back over this way. So, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. So we were over that way. And we've jumped up over here. I got it. I see what's happened. So we haven't been over this side yet. What we got here? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. <laughs> okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that, huh? Let's not think about that. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Yeah, this is going great. This is a great tour. You really are spoiling us right now. So this Ooh. island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, oh. the choice is up to me. There was something behind. Wait. Did you guys see that? There was something, like, behind her. Oh, that was creepy. It's like standing over there. Ah, oh, alright. I think we should get a move on. Right, are we going to take the high road? Or do we keep taking the path down here? I mean, what is... Up there? I don't know. Ah, oh, gosh. Decisions, decisions. Did we check everything? I think so. Okay, we're going to... We're gonna go this way. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory and I know it's just one night and you have to make the most of all your opportunities and yada, yada, yada. I guess. I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Huh. I can see that. I feel like Emma... I don't know. Maybe she's trying too hard to be somebody she isn't. Like, she's trying to act up to this part that people think she is. This is actually kind of fun. 
I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Aggressive. Actually, no, we're not cool. Reflective. It's better as a memory. We're not going to be aggressive, okay? I feel like we've put that guy through enough. Let's be reflective. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like... 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex <laughs> hey it could happen only time will tell jakey boy and as they say time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest sexiest fools there ever were <laughs> until then i gotta do my thing sorry buddy okay cool i think <laughs> we're gonna let you do your thing all right you just, you do you, girl. You do you. Okay. Wait a minute. I saw something over here, was it? Yeah. There's a fire. Looks like it was previously hmm. lit. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Hmm. So you guys remember in the first part when we took the scenic route? We saw that fire in the woods. Quote, the raven nevermore. I think that's what she was referring to there. Alright, so we got a box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. That was the motel we were told to go. Uh, a few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. Hmm. What are they doing out here? Someone hasn't long been here because that is still warm. Interesting. Oh, we have a ladder. Okay. Can we keep looking around first or... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Can we go this way? Okay. Nothing? I guess not. Okay. Wait a minute, what was that? Alright, there's the boathouse. Got it. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything down here. I guess we gotta head up the ladder. This music's freaking me out. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Ladder it is. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? Well... That oh, didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, this is a bad idea. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Ah, just thought you should know. I am nailing this ladder climbing. <sighs> All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. 
What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Oh. What was that? that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Uh, yes there is. We're not gonna... Okay, we're not gonna go with open the trap door and die the painful, horrible death. That just sounds terrible. Searching the bags, who knows, we could find something. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Finally. Oh. What do we get? Oh, sweet. Mm. We got a taser. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. What are you doing? Is she stupid? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Why would you do this? Oh! Uh oh. Oh gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, use bear spray, use taser. Wait, bear spray? Uh, I didn't know we had that. Okay. Oh my, what the frick is that? Run! Run! Oh. Oh my goodness. What is that thing? That is some ugly looking thing right there. Oh. Okay. We've got to concentrate. Spray? Spray. There we go. That should buy us a, a little bit more time. Ooh. We got this. Come on. Oh, gosh. We gone back? Dude, there's a window open right there. Block the door, use the trap door. Uh, use trap door, there's a window. Uh oh, okay. Oh gosh, I hate this, I hate this. Oh my. What? Uh, I don't know if that would hold it. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I could eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. Hmm. <laughs> Strength. Oh, there's another card. Uh, strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose these... I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Interesting.
This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Uh, optimistic. I hope they're gonna be okay. Cautious. Do you think it has their scent? Let's be optimistic. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Well, Dylan, that was very optimistic of you. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. What the hell? Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Weird. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Have you seen the guy? He looks awful. Hopeful, that's good news. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Uh, paranoid, you don't know that. I mean, look. Let's just be hopeful, huh? Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. Huh? You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Is this guy serious? Uh, determined? Call the cops. Curious? Do we have to be specific? We don't have time for being curious. Determined we are. Oh no. I almost pressed the wrong one. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. Yeah, you don't need to go that far. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. What? You sure you didn't hang up? That's weird. Uh, that's weird. Yeah, suspicious. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. 
Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I'm sorry, but no. You see what's happening out here? We're not gonna put the gun away. You crazy boy? Aggressive? You gotta be crazy. Yeah, are you crazy? No, we're not gonna say that. Okay. Uh, calm. Only temporary. Yeah. Only temporary. Okay. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Oh! Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? <laughs> Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlyn. This guy. Defensive. Does she need it? Aggressive. Give her your gun. I mean, I kind of agree with Ryan. We should definitely give Caitlyn the gun. We know out of all these people, she's the one who has the most trained experience with a gun. She knows how to use it. Um, I don't want to be aggressive, though. Does she need it? But she does. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Keep the gun, give the gun. We are gonna give her the gun. Besides, don't we already have a gun? I'm sure Ryan has a gun as well. So we don't need two. Ah, uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Ryan appreciates your decision. Am I interrupting something? Why does she seem mad? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Hmm. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh, we're back to Emma. Okay. Oh, gosh. Are we still being chased by this monster or what? Great. We're stuck up here, aren't we? Oh, the zip line. We saw that in the vision. Oh. Ooh, that's so noisy. A real slowly, real quickly. Like we're trying not to make too much noise, so maybe go in slower. Oh gosh, no, nope. it's still noisy. Great. <sighs> yeah, this is painful. Uh, speed up. No, we're not gonna touch it. Oh gosh, okay. Maybe we should have sped up. 
Okay, do you not hear that, Emma? Emma, go. Oh. Wow, that was close. Snap, we broke the uh, taser. Great. Uh oh. Wow, that was intense. That was very intense. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician, <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation, the work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Choose one. Choose wisely. I kind of want to know about the magician. That one... I mean, they both sound interesting, but that one... Yeah, that one really has my attention. Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. What was that for? All right, guys. That is the end of chapter four. I gotta say, that was probably the most intense episode we've had so far. Those quick time events with Emma really had me stressing. I did not want to mess up there. I feel like that's the most under pressure we've been so far. And I feel like from here on out, it's probably only going to get worse. But uh, luckily enough, so far, we still have everybody alive. Nick is injured, but he's still alive. So hopefully we can you know, patch him up and he'll be okay. But uh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait to see what happens. But uh, guys, I'm loving this. If you are, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more of these videos. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all on the next episode.